welcome back to another episode of Last Day on Earth Survival. Today we return, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. We are back with our early look at 1.9 through the pre alpha. It is not quite yet ready, but from what I have heard, it should be coming anytime between Thursday and Saturday. So it's great news. All of us will be diving into this, but in the meantime, we are going to be diving in. And first off, I want to clarify a couple of things, some confusion. So I know that some of these things, for example, might seem very expensive just to put one attachment on a perk or whatever, right? But here's the thing once you craft this up once, check out this magic we got right here i have a bunch of shotguns i'll just go ahead and put all of these attachments on every single one of these shotguns this is why i was hyped about the attachment system once you craft an attachment it is yours forever and it allows you to do things like this and deck out every single one of a gun of that kind and it's kind of like a gun progression system where you can kind of grind a little bit and you can even dedicate Ooh not modifiable maybe in the future but uh what you can actually grind a little bit and dedicate some of your resources towards us so that every gun of that kind will just be better that's why i really do like this system and the blueprints to be found can be found through a variety of ways just want to reiterate that so one thing you can do for example here that i'll go ahead and do really quickly is as you guys can see uh well this is not what i wanted you guys to see but uh what happens is this blueprint over here you have a chance at actually getting a blueprint back from recycling your guns right now i don't exactly have that type of luck which is unfortunate but we were getting it during yesterday's video if you guys did stick around for that and the thing is it can be found through floppy disks red zones bunker bunker crates uh what should i call airdrops through blueprints of a variety of ways not just through the shop which i think is where some of the confusion did stem from so yeah you don't need to buy blueprints from the shop i think that's where some of the confusion stem from but that's besides the point welcome boys and girls with that explanation if there is something i'd like to do i have been gathering lots of resources to hopefully finish and craft it up with some of these things with you guys so as you guys can see here we'll be scrolling through a couple of my attachments and what i plan on doing but i've been scrapping a bunch of guns so we have inventory room for once in our lives and a ton of resources so bada big bada boom that's a new pistol attachment we just unlocked very nice i don't really care about the sights because these lens are actually something i'm currently trying to stockpile i only have five i need 12 because the vss I'm, I'm gonna end up going with this scope, I think, because of the critical damage and critical chance. And if you combine that with the ETPL, that's just a lot of big boosts that I want to get my hands on right away. But anyways, uh, so with the pistol, I also wanted to finish crafting up the silencer, baby, so we can get that popping on all of our pistols. And also, I was over here working on a modified shutter. Bada bing, bada boom. That's going to add us a little bit of speed. A whole ton of critical chance, a little bit of noise, and it will screw the durability just a tad bit, but that'll be okay. We might end up working towards the green laser a little bit in the future. I'm also trying to currently find more glue. That's going to be one of the things we're heading out today in an adventure, not just to go and show off these guns we're also gonna be looking for glue we're gonna be looking for lens and we're taking on the witch who apparently drops something new yes yeah, so we got a lot of juiciness there with the ak i'm gonna the first things i'm gonna be get are hopefully the large magazine this tactical stock is looking really nice for the vss i'd like to get that double magazine over zed definitely the five times site the light stocks since that's the only thing for now and of course the eat the pl and then the scar we've done a pretty good job i'm waiting to get some better sights but the scar is pretty pimped out for the time being and then with this one i'm gonna be going with the rip because it does add critical damage speed and stability which is all pretty nice things and i haven't been messing around with the rest of these too much i'd rather i want to sink my resources first into some quality guns and of course i think i might be very tempted by getting the diablo and some proper things there but i just want to use some of our weapon parts on other things first so very quickly let's go ahead and put away some of the valuables that we do have in our hands here to make sure that uh, well they don't get lost because these are quite valuable objects that i would love to keep in my my possession and not out of them i think this is going to be kind of like my designated chest for those types of things as you guys can see from our inventory we are ready to face the witch as well especially because that silencer does buff our shotgun up to 77 damage in addition to the big ammo uh hold on we gotta go and put these cameras oh we gotta pee a little bit too but we actually gotta go and put these cameras away so they are getting recycled and not just doing absolutely nothing there you go cameras go do your thing and then i'll go ahead and drop off the rest of these things and we're looking pretty nice and ready but we are not going to be taking all these shotguns. We are going to be doing a raid later today. Our first ever shotgun rain silenced raid. I'm so excited for that. But what I did want to do first is we'll put some of these shotguns away for the future. Mainly, I'll leave the full quality one with us. Might as well grab the lower quality ones with us for raid. So we'll have two of those ready and reared to go with the witch and other shenanigans we'll get into. I think I'll go and grab another scar to play it safe. And then, actually, no, we don't... 
We do, after all. Hold on, we don't need a second scar. We can save that for later. Instead, let's grab a couple pistols. Let's uh, organize this. That's looking nice. And let's head on. But Jesus, I have like every condition imaginable. This is something that we got to take care of. I got to bring some food and whatnot with me as well. Luckily, we got some. Oh, I actually grabbed gun oil. <laughs> I was gonna... Baked beans and water. That's what I was trying to get that. So we could go and sip a little bit of that. Oh, uh, we got to pee very quickly on this chest. But then we'll head back to the gun bench. Customize these pistols using the same attachment system. And dude, I, that's that's why I'm loving it. Maybe some of you guys kind of misunderstood why I was loving the attachment system so much. I love it because once you craft an attachment, it is yours forever for how many pistols, however many shotguns, however many whatevers you want to toss it on. That is what colored me intrigued. And that is definitely still what is coloring me of the intrigued colors. So uh, we do also have some pretty good armor here. We got the second set of body armor in case things go poofy, which they probably will to take down the witch. But let's go ahead, modify a couple of these pistols and put some very nice things on them increase that speed that critical chance we do not have any sights unfortunately but we got a silencer right there baby and a shutter stock oh no the noise is all the way back up what is this shenanigans oh <gasps> Is it not silenced if you bro that can't oh my god the durability gets cut in half jesus that is not nice but i suppose we can change it for now and that's an interesting pistol get up to say the least let's go and kind of replicate that maybe if we get the stock first and then we put the silence right no we have crazy high critical chance so i'm actually you know what we got a zombie waiting out ahead outside of the base why don't we go and see how much uh oh yeah, we have a great chance at a critical. I really like this pistol now. Uh, the full auto glitch is not in the game, unfortunately. You, my friends, we will have a raid coming very, very soon. But first things first. Ooh, might want to grab some more meds. There do we go. That should be enough to keep us chugging. I think we'll even do a little bit of exploration around a couple of red zones and or dangerous places that might pop up because lens and whatnot, like lens and glue, I think they're kind of just an additional item, kind of like the ball bearing, for example, where they're not, they're not super rare items. They're just kind of like found out and about in the wild and lens or something pretty much every site requires lens for them and the higher magnification sites require higher mag or more amounts of lens too which is a little bit spooky uh here's what else is spooky the going's about to get a little bit tough there we got another shotgun but that's not what i want i want that and i don't know we could try to do the fn scar you know what let's let's start with the fn scar listen i want this to be a modded themed type of episode that's exactly what it's going to be let's head on over there and i'd love to hear from you guys and girls in that comment section down below what you are thinking of the modded updates so far at least from what you've seen from me and potentially other youtubers who covered as well i would love to hear that in that comment section down below what you're most looking forward to which attachment you're most hyped for i'm pretty sure there are grenade launchers as potential attachments and this thing you know how this gives us an active skill that's not in the pre-alpha yet i did actually get that clarified it might be coming in the full version and if not in the full version aka 1.9 it will come in one of the uh, closer updates but i'm very excited to see what the active skill for the bow might be i wonder if i could like load an explosive arrow or something i'm just saying that'd be pretty dope <laughs> or what you come let me know in that comment section down below and about the comments which are the other way until we can turn down i do such place don't give guard giveaway all you gotta do is always make sure the like button make sure subscribe that actually went on today's video i'll go ahead and turn on every single last series video with center it was around a program video for the past week Pick a random comment for a random video, and that will be the video for the week. And we'll kick off the week to give away that exact same Saturday as well. So make sure to stay tuned. It's a worthy investment. I tell you what, I love giving back to y'all. Make sure notification bells hit so you never miss an opportunity at entering into these videos. An opportunity again, the latest of information from yours. Truly the latest of update coverage as soon as we can possibly hop onto that. And also other dope survival games all along the way. But for now, the only dope thing I'm focused upon is this update and this update dude i just it just gives weapons a progression you know i at least maybe i'm just a sucker for that because i i like play like rpg games you know like fallout games like games where your character progresses and i don't know this isn't necessarily character progression but in a way it kind of is because every single gun of yours like once you make these investments into these attachments every single one of your guns will become better just it's i don't know man i i really do like it if it was kind of like you have to craft each attachment that would have been poopy but this is this is a system i can oi 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 oh oh my god i didn't even see those things it's so so hard when it's this dark out man uh all right we got to prepare for the witch i think the shotgun will prepare us well we do not have the full auto shoddy however to help us out because i do believe that that was uh patched in this, this update i could try doing the full auto ness a little bit but you guys will see what i'm talking about it might help us speed up a little bit but i don't think it's gonna do much like yeah it's not really doing much oh nail it oh don't hurt me like that stop doing big hits god dang it what is this shenanigans yeah that's what you get 
that's what your arm gets. All right, we got to go and try to get some of these crawlers. But apparently the witch can drop her bone now. At least that's what I've been hearing. And I'm very excited to see exactly if she might be dropping that. And if so, oh, Nelly. Okay, let's go. Let's heal up a little bit. Let's... Uh, Heal and shoot, and boom! Heal up yet again. I think we should be looking good. Let's try to shoot some of these crawlers out. We're hope I didn't want to use the shotgun on this, but so be it. We got to use the shotgun on some things that we don't want to use. Uh, 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 let's restock. Let's restock. There we go. Make sure we got more meds because Zevich, she comes back. Oh, please don't hit me with a big hit. Okay, there we go. I'm going to just, this is, this is perfect though. This is perfect for some turn and burn strategy. Although this thing, oh, this thing has awful range. I totally forgot about that. Definitely heal off that. Yeah. Uh, boop. Okay. So turn and burn tactics are definitely the new tactics that I prefer. Ah, oh, get out of here, witch. At least she's not doing her big old attack. That's what's scaring me. I don't want that big attack to happen. And this shotgun, dude, I love the damage boost that we got from this. Ow, ow, ow. Yeah, I don't know how much that big attack does, and I'm very scared it's going to do a lot. I just don't want her to randomly whip it out, you know what I mean? Because it gets, uh, it gets spooky, and it might realistically kill us, and I ain't trying to die right now. There goes her other arm! Let's get the diseased wolf out of here, and we gotta start preparing for a new horde coming to a star snipes bum near you. That's right, check this out. This is some swarmitude we're experiencing. Ah -ha -ha! This is actually a lot of people. Ah! Okay, 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 hold on. I know what to do here, I know what to do. Let's, uh... Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, let's heal up there. Okay, I, I ran through some of those things. Heal up and shoot and heal up yet again because the going got rough. But we came out on the other side and oh, nearly, oh, nearly, oh, nearly. New shot to gun. New shot to gun, baby. I love this. Where is the... Oh, there she comes. There she blows with her complete lack of arms. How is she going to attack me at this point? I don't know, but the turn and burn tactics are as amazing as ever. She barely does damage in this state. I totally forgot. Oh, no, she ripped me naked. I, she better not, like, headbutt me to death here or something, man. Oh, the 115, dude. We just got the critical shot. And she didn't drop anything. No. Sucks to be us. Uh, well, you know, it doesn't suck to be us. Why don't we whip out? Why don't we whip out the bow? This is some perfect people to experiment the bow with. Now, the bow. Ah, dang it. The bow, just a reminder, it should have some sort of active ability. I don't know what that is. Maybe if it's the laser sight. You know what would be nice for the bow? If the laser sight lets you never miss, regardless of how hard you even, like, hold it back or anything, but it's gonna be interesting because this is a sight for a very cheap weapon. Oh, 36 damage! This is a sight for a very cheap weapon, so if it does end up having a good critical hit shot, any jazz like that. Oh, Nelly, I was really holding on to that for some reason. Uh, which one calls? Get some of that. Oh, let's back it up, back it up. Ain't trying to get hit by that. Let's put on a brand new armor, and I don't really know if there's much here for us, but what a perfect excuse to mow some people down with a little bit of scar. And here's the thing. Oh, we gotta be careful. I think when the when your weapon starts missing, I think the durability still ends up. Yeah, the durability still goes down. So you really do need to be a little bit careful. Get out of here, Mr. Talk to Spit. I don't want to deal with you. Instead, I'll deal with the pistol and hopefully getting some very nice critical shots with this. Right now, it's only doing 20, but it said it had a good chance at a critical. So I don't know. Maybe I could like sneak. Oh, that's another thing someone was saying too. Try sneaking with the bow. Supposedly, we can get sneak attacks or something interesting like that. And I got to stop walking over those things, dude. Uh, supposedly, we might be able to get like sneak attacks or something. So maybe that is the difference. Well, I totally just missed that. Luckily, he didn't notice. But it looks like you stand up as soon as you like. Yeah, I don't think so. Because it looks like you stand up as soon as as you take that shot but if we're lucky can we get that critical chance to happen please no no critical chance well it's obviously not as big of a chance that i was hoping for so that's unfortunate let's go and make a pit stop over to a red zone though in the next episode by the way we'll be heading over to the bunker taking out the blind one seeing if he himself might be dropping some things that is a glitch as well that should be patched by the time the full version's out we could stop by the oak forest as well should we choose but uh we, uh, let's at least go to a red zone, though. I do want to go to one red zone. We still got, ooh, we still got a little bit of shotgun raid, but this shotgun raid, guess what? It's coming along for the raid and ride, something that we have never been able to do before today, baby! And these attachments, man, I'm loving them. I'm, I'm, when we can start actually going to the farm and all, this, oh, all the shenanigans that will come with the farm, that would be very fun, I tell you what, but okay. Especially if we do, as, uh, supposedly the farm's gonna have a lot of like, uh, oh, come on now, come on now, where are my critical hits? I was told I'd have a greater chance of critical hits, but the farm is gonna have a lot of melee weapon mod recipes from what I've heard, and uh, that's gonna be nice, because like, you guys saw with the Sawblade Mace, the Diablo, it's looking good. I'm even thinking, because cer like, currently there's only like five or six melee weapons you can modify. There's definitely more, like the crowbar, I think the shovel, like, there are more melee weapons that I think do 
still need to get their own modifications. So I'm thinking the farm update might even add in some more melee or melee moddable weapons as well. But at least that's just my hunch. Uh, I'll toss you over there. We still got plenty of grenade launcher. Oh, oh, I thought I thought I thought that was the big one. Also, that was the least horrifying. Oh, I think I've ever put out. My voice just kind of gave up halfway through. <laughs> Come on, toxic abomination. Are you never does this does this pistol just not do critical hits? Am I crazy or something? It should have. It's got a silencer, a shutter, a comfortable mag. It should be getting some crits here and some crits there. I do want to definitely loot these guys, though, and see if they are capable of dropping that what we search for. I don't think so. I think what will be capable of dropping it is going to actually be some of the chests around here. So that's what I'm going to go and bum rush. Oh, mama, they're bum rushing me. They're bum rushing me. Was not expecting it. Here's the nice thing. Stability slash recoil slash the thing that causes you to miss in the new shooting system doesn't affect semi-auto weapons. So actually, it's going to be really nice for the VSS, especially if we decide to slow it down with some of those attachments I was showing you guys. I'm, I'm telling you, dude, the VSS SS is looking like a very, very promising weapon. What do you want, Toxic Abomination? Ah, I wish I could. Oh, don't belly flop me. But yeah, you could. Ah, yeah, actually, the full auto was actually working a little bit there. Huh. Because here's the thing. I'll show you guys what happens now if you click auto. Maybe I was just going crazy. Maybe I just never noticed this in the first place. But by the looks of it, if you hit auto, you guys can see there's like a, there's a recharge time on auto now. So I don't know if you can really. No, 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 no. Let's, let's get the shooting. Like, it, it kind of shoots a little bit faster. I don't know. It, it didn't seem like it was working for the shotgun before, but... Uh, I don't know. This is this is just... That was just kind of the speed I was shooting, and this is full auto. Honestly, it seems to be right about the same. Maybe slightly, slightly better, but really not by much. Oh, no. My pantalos and stuff are about to break. Let's keep on looting through these chests, though, because these are also what can have the blueprints. I remember during the live stream, first red zone I went into had a blueprint, so that was a pleasant surprise. But that's the good thing about blueprints, I guess, is that you don't necessarily need a lot of them because once you have a blueprint, you already have something to work for with that blueprint as long as it's... Oh, my God. This wolf was going Mach 5 speeds. But it gives you something to work towards. You know, so you, even if you find one blueprint, then at your workbench, you can start working towards a modification for one of your guns. It's not look like we're having any good luck right now, but just from personal experience so far from the red zones I've gone to, first one I went to did have that, which I was searching for, which was a very, very pleasant surprise. I tell you what. So is, did I open this one? Okay, I did. Just making sure, just making sure. I think red zones, don't they have a chance at having a fifth box? I feel like I've seen a fifth box at some red zones, but maybe not. Oh, I've seen another toxic spitter. He's probably more than the fifth one, so I'm not going to say the fifth one just so it flows well, but that would have been nice. Uh, what you want, Fast Spider, over there? You want some death? All right, I'll deliver it hot and steaming. Especially since you broke my weapon, you dingus. But it's looking like the red zone ain't being super kind to us at the moment. But that's all right. It was kind to us the first time. I understand. Hopefully, it's being kind. To, it's going to be kind to your leds and lessies. I'll happily take some unkindness my way if it means kindness can be sent your way. And there's an airdrop. And airdrop is definitely something we're going after. Before we dive into that raid for the finale of today, I am back up. Up to 2c4 by the way you guys remember we had one after the last raid because we didn't decide to invest into that raid so that's good because now i do have another one which is looking marvelous 2c4 is if the raid's good 2c4 usually is enough to get us within a reasonable reasonable place we also gotta get hatchets and stuff but that shouldn't be too hard a little bit of wood a little bit of stone back from home and we got the level ones covered and we should have some level twos stockpiled and stashed away as well so we've been using this one a little bit we, we've used a little bit of this modded gun why don't we go ahead switch on over use a little bit more shotgun rain after all the purpose we got some shotgun raid back at home for the raid this shotgun raid is for having some fun and dude i just want to get the shotgun damage up to 80 that's why i want to get one more attachment even a sight anything that increases this damage to 80 i want it to happen because then it's going to be the one hitter quitter not for roaming zombies like that but for zombies like this the fast biter i hate leaving them over with three health man it's a total dingus move it's just such a waste you know to have like because then you fire a second shot so ow get out of here toxic spitter oh don't spit on me Get out of your deer. Yeah. Oh, nice front flip there. What should we call though? It's just nice though, because think about it. If you're using a shotgun, if you want to kill something with 80 health, you got to shoot it twice. So to kill something with 80 health, you're doing 154 damage. 
that is not worth it so that's why i really don't want to use the shock unless it's for those tougher enemies but the good news is it's perfect for enemies with 300 health now oh what is that out here god dang it oh no i don't have a gun in my hands ah let's go to this thing what is this i think this was the fully modded yeah this is what a fully modded m16 turned into i believe it does have a barrel mag a two times sight silencer and a green laser so uh, all of your weapons as well will be converted to this new system your mo your fully modded weapons won't just disappear they won't just become normal they will become the weapon but with corresponding attachments you know because i definitely don't have these attachments a lot for the m16 i've not been given the m16 that he loves so far uh let's just go and double down on, ah i want to you know no we got a bow man and this bow honestly it's not ideal but i got it it's pretty freaking nice and we do have an extremely rare sight on it with an active skill my only active skill weapon so i cannot wait until we can actually do something cool with that active skill and but it's the perfect weapon for taking out roman zombies at least so that's nice especially while we do wait for there to be a dank active skill what is this sure sure get out of here did i do three damage to you homie okay that's not allowed you know it is allowed i think you my friend need yourself a little bit of shotgun in shotgun is way slower now dude i'm gonna have to i'm gonna have to re-remember how to fire a shotgun slowly because i'm i, I no longer am used to shotgun rain i'm used to the shotgun freaking monsoon okay that thing was going ham ski do oh my god speaking of going to ham ski doodles all right peter that man's bot oh okay okay well uh that goes to show just how powerful shotgun rain is but i think my end goal and my first goal of this update is going to be fully mod my shotgun so that's why i do Ooh, nothing this time unfortunately that's the thing too uh, i do think currently in this pre-alpha build as well i think bunker crates might be glitched that's another reason that they didn't release the update out to everybody because it's not ready actually that's uh, one of the glitches i believe that they're working on fixing i don't think you can currently get blueprints out of red or the not the red not the red zone i mean you can't get blueprints out of the bunker or whatever and the bunker crates i think currently that might be a little bit on the glitch side from what i've been hearing so again that's why this is a pre-alpha this is not the full it's not a ready update you know because if it were to be out it would have a lot of problems with it and i don't think kafir wants to put out updates with problems because they've got enough poop for that in the past so i think their quality control is really kind of trying to step up their game you know and hopefully because of that at least you guys could enjoy some of these videos in the main side of us hopefully check out the update and everything that it has to offer i'm thinking maybe we pay a visit as well to the bunker a little bit so let's go let's spend some of the coins just as always <laughs> the cycle of life for papa star oh look at that they all ran away together is that new that's a hidden change for the update. that that they definitely never ran away together that, that one dude always stuck around for a second then he ran anyways uh, i'm gonna go ahead prepare our inventory for a raid but also prepare ourselves for a little bit of a visit to the bunker i do want to explore the bunker see if maybe we get some glue maybe get some lens over from there and hopefully one thing that i've been saying to you one thing that i've even been suggesting is that i would love 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 for the cameras for example and one of the things they drop especially with this new fourth slot over here in the uh recycling recycler bench or whatever have them drop lens i mean think about it the camera is the single most perfect item for that it has a lens built in the purpose of the camera revolves around the lens you know i feel like it's perfect so hopefully that's another thing that is added in by the time that the full version of the update is out hopefully later this week like i was saying but uh okie dokie artichokey i'm going to put these medical supplies in there and i'm gonna go and prepare ourselves for a little bit of bunker fun before ultimately heading on to raid land and as you lies and lassies can see this is the perfect inventory for what we have in store but why don't we go ahead and for the purposes of of where in tarnation did i put my scar oh no it broke didn't it that's okay because check it out in the new system this boring old scar over here guess what now that we've completed our investment it's not even like we got to go to the specialist over in the bunker and get a modded weapon via him not even we got our own workbench bada bing bada boom i'm giving you a better mag hopefully i get you a proper sight at some point I'm giving you a better barrel and giving you this thing as well so the only thing we're missing is well a probably better better things i think that's actually a very big thing that we're missing because we kind of do have relatively basic stuff i think the under barrel even i think a grenade launcher is an attachment i think actually check this out check this out so for a lot of these rifles they do have multiple of these uh starred entities right here right even the vss has like i think the, yeah the vss has two starred ones i have no clue what those are but they are extremely rare so hopefully we can come across them if we get a little bit lucky but uh then like the scar over here also does have two of these stars and even the m16 
continues to have these stars so i'm thinking that at least for one of these especially because it was something we saw during the sneak peek live streams a grenade launcher is going to be a possibility and i think it makes sense what the active skill is going to be in that case i seriously don't know what the active skill will be for the bow maybe like i i seriously can't think of it. maybe guaranteed headshot or something because you got a laser sight pointing but a grenade launcher pretty self-explanatory it's like a single use freaking grenade you can shoot and check it out this is where the skill system i think comes in perfectly because it said it's going to be an active skill so it'll probably add a skill to here and then you can pick it over like auto mode or over sneaking or something so you literally have the skill built into the interface this is why it's really interesting and this is why if you look at the big picture of what kafir's doing it's it's coming together man it really is coming together for all the hate that kafir does get for some of the decisions that they do make you do need to admit that things are kind of starting so like things are coming together nicely you know all these systems are starting to intertwine and it's hopefully it's gonna make for some really interesting gameplay at the end of the day that's what matters having the best gameplay possible and having a fan for a fantastic time all throughout here's the problem with the Ooh, we don't just realize though here's the problem with heading to the bunker however ah uh, it's already open right so this is why you might need to do this tomorrow when we go after the blind one and also we'll dive into the bunker try to find resources there but i think it's because the loot in the bunker i think it spawns in when you open the bunker so technically speaking we opened the bunker in the old update before we were in the pre-alpha of 1.9 so what that has led to is this still has loot from the old update it doesn't have updated loot so we might need to wait till tomorrow to hop on that so i'm gonna go and put a couple things away and then we'll head on over to player 90 88 oh and another thing one in rome might as well tell you guys about some of these things but check it check it so there are a couple of well this isn't really the best gun to maybe showcase it off is that a zombie oh, i thought that was a zombie on the outside this isn't the best gun to showcase it off with but maybe the scar nope so this is that weight category right the weight category is something that actually can affect your speed so certain mods can actually add to the weight of your gun and i know like some of these seem pretty self-explanatory damage range speed durability critical damage critical chance noise but weight seems a bit weird weight is kind of like the minigun you know when you equip the minigun and you are a bejesus ton slower than ever before that's kind of like that think of the minigun as like max weight for example i don't know if that's exactly how it is but that's kind of how it works so the heavier your gun is the more it will slow you down but as you guys can see from pretty much all the guns we had oh my goodness that is a beautiful looking gun ah we're gonna be equipping that puppy during the raid and i i hope i come across that mag because i don't have that mag unlocked because that's the thing these are all attachments are from uh having a fully modded gun capability already that's another thing i hope that this game i hope that also in the wild we can find modded guns not just guns with the stuff kind not just a fully modded gun like this that's always the same right because i think this is kind of like the fully modded gun transformed into the new system i want to be able to find guns out in the wild with any type of attachment possibly attached to them you know hopefully that's something kafir does decide to incorporate as well especially if this weapon update does end up being a huge success and whatnot and ooh, i wonder if hatchets and stuff will be modifiable in the future I'm, that's what i'm saying man i think these non-modifiables they have a chance to be modifiable down the line but anyways uh i'm gonna organize my stuff brb and all right here's the game plan here's what's coming out to play here we got our 2c4 we just grabbed from over in the chest then what we're gonna have to do is get a bajillion of the hatchets crafted out up so they are ready and ready to go for the shenanigans of today hopefully a marvelous raid this is after all 1.9 so push slaps the raids have even improved a little bit as a hidden part of the update as well only time will tell just like dear mama that's way too many hatchets i should not bring that many there we go five level ones three level twos honestly i'm gonna just eat all the berries in the world i'll find some food down a ways oh and that's another thing too yeah we already got some guns equipped and stuff so i'm going to uh unequip those we'll put these away there we go that that's where i was getting confused i'm like my inventory has never been this full i'm just i used to having so many guns to choose from but let me just say it's i like the ability to choose from these things it's very nice but there we have it i'll also go ahead and put the water away after taking a couple swigs from that so we are as full as can be bada bing bada boom with everything in hand we got the bow for i don't know maybe if we come across a turret i think the bow can shoot the turret outside the turret's range but let's hope that this is a keeper Ooh, put some stuff away and just to kind of give you guys an update on what we got popping off over here dude i really hope these things become modifiable because we're gonna have some of the best mods imaginable i mean think about it like some extra high explosive ammo for example actually i wonder if the last day on earth or whatever might 
ultimately end up incorporating that but hold on uh, really quickly to an update on our engine parts stockpile i think we're actually getting very close to having enough for the ridiculous atv i think we once we finish that last stack that we were working on i think we're like 16 engine parts away from having the 200 needed for the atv we obviously don't have the transmission though but this has been something we've working towards for the longest time that i could I don't even remember how long we've been freaking stockpiling engine parts and just absolutely trying not to use them for anything. But finally, it's looking good. So we're future proofing ourselves and especially with that ATV update and how juicy it's looking out. We thought the ATV update would be 1.9, but Kafir slapped us with a surprise, making the weapon update the 1.9, which kind of makes sense because if you think about it, like the in, like weapons are a pretty big part of the game. They're kind of, well, how you play the game because without a weapon, you're just getting your face eaten off and uh, pretty much every weapon system in the game changed how they shoot how you modify them freaking they added in all these like meters and stats that you can literally see like that's another thing you can see the stats of your gun i don't know guys i'm like i'm like a stat nerd so i'm probably just like a little bit biased i freaking love stat i love numbers man numbers are very nice very nice just like this guy not having anything is not very nice and oh 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 he probably mm, 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 mm. I don't know what to think of this. Ah, ha, ha. Is that all that this man has? Please tell me he's got some good stuff in the wooden area because this guy, he didn't even touch any part of this hot diggity dog. This man literally just went straight to his base and just built up a little bit of steel, a little bit of wood. Hopefully the goods are in the woods. <laughs> See the rhymes that I put out there. So uh, let's hope for the best. Cross your fingers, cross your eyes, cross all that you got. But yeah, like I said, I'm surprised because I always thought we get one chest and then this is all going to... Oh, nail it! We're blowing in! We're blowing in! We're getting into the steel! Woo! There has to be good stuff here, man. There's no way they do this to us. Let's go ahead and mow down all these fast biters. Let's watch out, though. We got to be careful for the misses. And that's another thing. I think that's another reason that they were doing, like, this recoil and stuff that we got to give this a second. Ah, ha, ha. Let's switch over to the shock a little bit. Boop. See ya. Wouldn't want to be a shotgun, and that's what I love. The semi-auto weapons are still good. We need to get the shotgun up to... I don't know, man. We got to get the shotgun up to, like... 80 damage. Yeah, 80 damage, and it can three-hit floater bloaters, I think, if I'm not mistaken. Because, yeah, floater bloaters have 240, right? So 80, 160, 240. Yeah, so seriously, getting this thing up to 80 is the ultimate goal because then the shotgun becomes just the mass murderer of everything because then he can take out toxic abominations, four shots. Floater bloaters, three. Toxic spitters, one. I mean, besides the occasional weird enemy with like 100 health, you're pretty freaking golden. I really hope that I'm golden with what's within here, man. This is a steel base we have managed to break within. So I really hope that maybe the goods within will, I don't know, represent that of a steel base. <gasps> and not really so far. Uh, my hopes are high, though. My hopes are high. If this man has steel, I'm guessing it's not a hacker. It's probably just a dude who did buy a little bit of a steel enclosure. Maybe he also bought some other good stuff that he is protecting but why has he got the random stone opening in the wall that's another thing that confuses me i'm putting that away do not want to ever accidentally put that off but that was a good usage of a c4 i'm happy with that we broke into a steel base baby we broke into some steel maybe this maybe he gave everyone who breaks into his wooden part of his base an offering of some sort nope absolutely not i th that better be the good stuff but i think what happened is probably you know what it was Ooh. He built two doors. That's the thing. I think buying this gives you enough for a three by three room, but he probably wasn't able to afford a second wall of steel. So he has that. <gasps> so maybe <gasps> he might have the leftover steel in one of these chests. Oh, oh, uh, no, not at all. How is that a raid that we legitimately get, dude? That is what also, oh my God, this is actually, dude, I... Listen, I like, oh, my pantalones. Ah, let's go out into the open a little bit. This ain't the place, but I like this, dude. It's all like alerting the weapon system is almost going to be like its own challenge here. And I'm kind of a fan. And this silenced gun is still putting up noise. How about the shotgun? Does the shotgun do anything? It does a little bit. So it looks like even silenced guns very, very barely do raise the noise of what we're messing with. Hold on. Let's soften up the bloater a little bit. So interesting to note i wasn't noticing that before shotgun rain to you lad a shotgun rain to you oh what we got lift off houston as well back to the base into the three chests that we got but yeah this is uh, i i don't know man it looks like raids are still kind of meh 
Could be better. Could be worse. Don't get me wrong. The thing is, this does put us at 30 red tickets, but... We need to play this careful, guys. We can't, We as much as I would love to, we can't go open the red ticket crate now. We need to wait to open up the bunker anew, and then we can open up the crate within, and hopefully it will have, I mean, not only, ooh, we could, oh yeah. Next episode, we're gonna be doing a lot of openings. Add the floppy disk, and we're gonna see if any of those can net us some nice stuff for all of this weapon modding madness we're trying to get into, but I can't believe this is the base that we got. Why would the system give us a base like this? Like, is this real? Is this loot itself worth the raid? I don't, I don't really think so, man. Like, I, I don't, unless there's something crazy that I'm missing, which there might be. And honestly, YOLO, man, listen, if we spent a C4, I will keep on breaking through everything this man has. I am not leaving any stone unturned. All right, we are going to get to the bottom of this and hopefully get some quality loot coming on back because there ain't no quality loot coming our way. And oh, mama, we got some of these guys. But that's the thing, dude. It also makes you, you can't just hold down the button and spam. You know, it kind of, it, it does add a sense of strategy, I guess, to what you got to do. And perfect, dude. The Toxic Abominations. This gun is already a certified Toxic abomination silenced Maidera. I'm very surprised it's adding noise, but it seriously looks like it's barely adding any noise at all. Let's make sure that we don't die. Instead, let's equip a shot to get raid number two. Shot a good raid that you he just blew up inside of his own friend. Dear God, that's gonna be taken weirdly out of context. You know what I mean. They were literally inside of each other and one dude just totally went kaboom. But all right, Toxic Abomination, you are gonna go kaboom as well. See ya, wouldn't wanna be ya. Alligator. I call him an alligator because oh, I didn't say see you later. See you later, alligator. Oh, it's not there. I call him an alligator because he had green blood. His blood doesn't exactly exist anymore. But with all of this taken into account, I guess we just kind of take what we can and just kind of sit here in awe that this is the type of raid that going out on our own and attempting to get a raid gets us. I, I don't know, man. It's just, it's just, it's, it's kind of poopy. I like to have to like, especially for you guys out there who get raids like this and you know, who aren't raiding on the daily. Cause if you think about it, like for the most part, we do raid daily. So, you know, we'll get the bad ones. We'll get the good ones, but it just sucks. And I hate having to think of all of you guys who do have to experience some really poopy bases like this ever since the rating changes because I, I think I speak for all of us when I say the old rating was a lot more ludicrous than it is now but maybe it was too ludicrous in the past you know I don't, I'm I'm not I, I'm not here to judge that I'm just here to say it's definitely not as juice delicious as it used to be and okie doke here's what else I'm gonna do I, I just feel extra slow walking without shoes like I already felt slower with the boots but I'm this is feeling weird man uh, but we got some of that stuff we can toss. I guess I could break that thing too, honestly. When in Rome, might as well because there's not really anything else valuable to grab. I guess some, some of that, we'll, we'll bribe the people off with that. Bada bing, bada boom. This guy literally has wood over here in his base. Like, God, God dang it, bro. Can I steal his stone or his oak? That'll be more valuable than what I'm putting up with right now. And yep, absolutely nothing coming our way. Oh no, we didn't even finish his dog crate. Oh man. Yeah, I don't know why we got this raid. Was it because of the single engine part? Because usually when we get a raid, you know, like I think the raiding system has to determine if the base is worth raiding, if there's loot in it. And I don't know, lately it's been kind of thrown off by electronic circuits, but there wasn't even an electronic circuit in here. It was just, just one little guy, but I don't care, man. We got a great opportunity to show off the magic that a fully silenced shotgun can bring. And as you guys saw, it was quite the destruction we were adding along because that silencer adds the damage too. And that's why there's still, I'm, there's still so many attachments we got to learn for the shotgun. And that's what I'm going to try to do. And ah, uh, <laughs> I just want it, man. I just want it. I don't know what I want exactly because I don't know exactly what attachments there are. But if you guys look here, we got the best mag. We'll probably stick with the silencer unless maybe there is a better front barrel that does more damage because I don't know. We'll have our silenced shotgun build and maybe our not so silenced, more damaging shotgun build. We got this handguard. We still got two more. Maybe one of them will add damage or critical or something like that. And of course, we got four options and sights. Hopefully we come across one of those. So I'm very, very intrigued. Maybe indeed what we could do as well to try and learn is uh, some of our really broken down shotguns, kind of like this one. Maybe we try to scrap it and see if we can't get a blueprint because that's another thing to take into account in this scenario too. Now you can strategically scrap almost broken weapons and you have a chance of getting blueprints from them, right? This thing, like I can show you guys right now, bada bing, 
I can't show you guys right now because I gotta put some stuff away. Okie dokie, let me go and put some stuff away really quickly. It's mainly in the form of giving these guys something. I'm gonna give them a lot of stuff, so hopefully they love me and give us good raids again. There you go, baby. Take that. Now, don't mind me while I go and try to find some pantalos and whatnot. Oh, there we go. The raiders stuck around that time. When I, you know what I was talking about last time? Ooh, every other bunker code for today. For all your ladies and gentlemen, today bunker code is gonna be 4227. Nine. That is going to be the magical sequence of numbers getting you guys into the bunker. If it's our day, by the time you put it to you, so hopefully someone in that comment section down below is provided up to date version. If not, hopefully you're the fan freaking fantastic person that does to help out everyone over here that we got popping off in the sniper gang. Also, check this out for some of these saw blade recipes too. Especially, we're going to need to stockpile a lot of saw blades because the saw blade. If there's one melee weapon I'm going to work on, it will be the saw blade because it already does the most damage. So I want to juice this thing. I don't know if I get the saw blade to do 80 damage. I'm happy. Will that happen? Who knows? But, like, we got the Diablo over there. That seems promising. The Crane. Whatever this is, the really rare one, that seems like it could have a lot of promise. An ergonomic handle, even. Speed? Durability? I wonder if... Do melee weapons have range, too? Actually, now that I think about it, I'm not entirely sure. Look at that. Not even the Katana's modifiable. I feel like the Katana could get some mods. Easy peasy. Like, douse it in gasoline, set it on fire. Boom! Already found a mod. That could be an active ability. Freaking flaming sword. What could go wrong? But yeah, hopefully we do get an awesome shotgun modification. It's a boots with. But this is going to start wrapping for this episode of Last Day Out of Survival. If you guys did enjoy, if you did, definitely let me know in that comment section down below. And hopefully next episode. Next episode, we're definitely getting C4. We're definitely killing the Blindwood. So that is going to be a bunch of awesome stuff. We're heading out to the bunker next episode. We're going to be opening up all the crates, trying to get juicy stuff through that. Killing the blind one. Again, the floppy. It's just a whole ton of exploration of some of the best loot spots in this new 1.9 landscape. But this is going to start wrapping up for me. For now, thank you guys a whole ton for watching. Have yourselves an awesome one. And I'll talk to you next one. See ya.